never think about personal emotions when I'm playing a piece of music because I didn't write the music. What I try to do is try to understand what the composer had in mind. So whatever emotions I have that's personal is a byproduct of what I try to understand as the composer's intention. to do a transition between the modern piano that I practice on normally and ultimately um, adjusting to the forte piano that we're borrowing from Viviana Sofroneski. I started with doing some research on the composers because the repertoire required some digging into the composers themselves. So for instance, I've never heard of Schunk before, so I looked up um, Schunk and found out his relationship with Schumann. They were very intimate friends, uh, the influences other composers have had on the composers. Chopin was extremely inspired by Hummel, and he studied after the concerto by Hummel. And so you can hear a lot of Chopin in the second movement of Huma Sonata. I do think Bugmüller, Huma, and Schunk are building bridges across generations by the sheer fact that music is music and it's human. And if we're open to it, what they were saying then, the emotions are still the same emotions that we experience now. in when words stop. That being said, if you visit a city, it's obviously better if you read about it beforehand. If you know more about a painting before you actually see the painting, you know more about it. But then it becomes a cerebral process. There is always one extra step to translate it into your head. The explanations are the most helpful if they're in context of the music and not about the music. Often I find that if you talk about music too much, it actually takes away the meaning of music. Mm -hmm. 